Alright guys, so Tap Titans 2, Mod APK, Android, for anybody that wants this, I'm going to start a new game just to show, just to go through the motions of what's in it. So skip, so skip the intro, let's just go right to it. So first things first is you don't have to go through the ads to get through uh, to get to the boss. You, you, you could just go, go straight to the boss. Also, you always have the swipe, um, the, uh, the power of swipe ability active, so you can always drag and attack. Yeah, that's always active. Also, gold booster, not to a point to where it's so high that you automatically get banned. All right, this mod, as long as you're smart and as long as you're not stupid about things, you're not going to get yourself banned. If you are stupid, such as if you join a tournament and you go like 300, 400% higher than second and third place, you're going to get reported. That's going to get you banned. But this mod, the way how it's set up, it's made to where as long as you're playing and you're not stupid, you're not going to get caught by the auto detector. Now, rules just... One simple rule to keep in mind, before you hit stage 3000, join a clan, all right? Because anybody past stage 3000 that's not in a clan usually always gets banned regardless if they're cheating or not, all right? So make sure that you join a clan before you do that. So anyway, so let's just keep on going, all right? So uh, the other things that's in this mod is infinite cash. Uh, there are mods to where when you spend cash or spend gold in, in, in this particular game, you get gold back. That always leads to a fast ban. So I stay away from that and I would recommend you not bother with those things and not bug me to add it in here because I don't want you guys to get a quick ban. But if you want to, go use someone else's mod. The other thing is, uh, let me just go through this real quick. Let me, uh, let me fast forward and get my pet. Alright, so once you get your pet, restart the game. Alright. Once you get your pet, go up one stage, then restart the game. There's a reason why. Alright, so once you restart the game, you'll notice that things are just dying automatically. The reason for that is because normally when you're playing under normal circumstances, when you gather a whole lot of pets and their levels all equate to 200 or higher, the pet starts to attack by itself every few seconds. This puts into overdrive. The pet's always constantly attacking, and it's attacking at least, or I think around 20-25 times per second, depending on the speed of your phone or your device. If you, if you have a slower device, he's going to attack slower. That's just how it goes, all right? But he's, he's, he's attacking a bunch of times per second, so that way you don't have to tap yourself. But if you want to, you can. Again, you have the power of swipe, so you can do that. And sometimes, your power swipe is going to be stronger than your pet's damage depending on the skills that you have set for your pet. Alright, so other things I want to mention. Let me just upgrade this guy a bit so that I can get further along. I, I uh, Let me just get a whole bunch of money first and then I'll come back and explain something else. Alright, I think that's enough money. So, if you uh, go to your, uh, your, your, your hero, your helper menu. Alright, if you go to the... actually go to the top first. And uh, change this to a uh, max so that when you do upgrade them, they'll max out. Uh, normally, when you upgrade them, for those that play the game normally and have experience with it, when you up, uh, when you do like a large upgrade in a, a particular hero, um, you'll have to manually upgrade the uh, the the uh, the special abilities that that particular has. But if you have some of their weapons in stock, which you find which happens when you play the game longer and longer and usually from tournaments or if you buy them from the store uh, the abilities are upgraded automatically this mod makes it so that the weapons upgrade automatically so if I hit upgrade you're gonna see that all the abilities go up automatically I don't have to do them one by one there are times when it still will ask you to upgrade it manually because the amount of gold that it costs is really close to the amount of gold that you have so that's why it doesn't just do it automatically all right, but that's the only real time, but it doesn't cost anything. It's free in, in that particular case. All right, not, not that it matters because gold doesn't go down. So it, it can go up, but it never goes down. So you're fine with that. All right, and as you can see, I'm just tapping these. This is a brand new account, but I'm just tapping these, and they're all just upgrading because normally you would have to tap multiple times to upgrade those. All right, so yeah, it makes things faster and just easier overall. Now to cover other things, some of the skills that you can buff into are stronger than normal. And 
I can't really show you that unless I add some skill points to myself, which I'll just cut over. You might wonder why the pet is floating in the middle. If you've not played the game long enough, or you're brand new to the game, this normally doesn't happen. Your pet's not supposed to be floating in the middle like, like this at all times. But it is because it's it's setting itself up to allow you to use a particular skill if you have it ready and you have it active. All right. So normally it's this skill here, this lightning burst. What it allows you to do is skip stages quickly if you activate its attack and its attack is strong enough to to hurt the boss that to basically destroy the boss that you're currently facing plus any other bosses that might be down the line. All right, so I'm going to just upgrade this a little bit, upgrade some of the pet damage a little bit so I have some in, in there. And I'll upgrade this and uh, keep going a little bit. And I don't have the stage reached for it, so I'm just going to skip over because this skill requires stage 500, so I'm going to skip to that real quick. All right, so hit stage 500. So now I can go into here, and uh, if you see, like when I click on the pet, it, it doesn't do a, uh, a, a, a uh, stage skip that's higher than what's normal, so it's still going by one. If I upgrade into that, say I'll put like 10 points into here, which you can't do off the bat, but I'm going to put 10 points into here. That's going to multiply my pet's damage by, what, 279 times plus normal. So if I use them, it's it's going to go up by three skills. Not, not not skills, but it's going to go up by three stages. All right, So you can see whatever stage I'm on, as soon as I use it, it goes up by three. And this allows me to skip stages faster. Um, the other thing is, since I have a bunch of skills already, I can unlock uh, Intimidating Presence, which requires you to, which uh, becomes unlocked for uh, depending on how much skills you have. So uh, since I accrued over a thousand with my particular skills, my particular techniques, um, I, I can go into here and upgrade it quite a bit. So let me just do that. All right, so 48 times. Now when I tap on my pet, you're going to see it's going to go up by more than three. All right, or not because I have to upgrade my damage. Let me just do that real quick. All right, now tap on them and I go up by 12 instead of three like like uh, uh, previously. All right, and uh, so yeah, that's just how the game works. All right, the other skill that gets uh, boosted, let me just uh, upgrade my towers a bit. So since the pet is always attacking, right, let me get to a point where the pet's damage uh, it, uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage compared to um, to the, the boss that I'm facing. All right, so the pet's damage is not that high, right? And uh, there is this skill here that's uh, called... I forgot what it's called, but basically it makes it so that your critical hits are higher and you have a higher chance of doing a critical damage. Normally, the pet cannot do critical, uh, cannot hit criticals and cannot get a critical hit. I just said the same thing in two different ways. Anyway, so the way how you make that happen is normally you would uh, go into your skill tree and then you would spec into this particular skill here which requires it to be at stage 800, which I am not yet. So let me just go over to that real fast. All right. So I'm just going to activate this so that that's actually stronger. And doing Warcry does not do anything right now for my particular, for my total attack. To, uh, to in, in, in order to make that happen, I have to actually spec into this particular one, which adds X amount of percent of the total uh, of the total ally, uh, allies damage to my own, so that I can hit harder. So let me just put some into here. Blah. All right. So now I do more damage because of reasons. Okay. So let me just get up to 800, and uh, we should be set. So I'm just gonna increase this some more, and uh, just do that, and just do this. So let me see if I can do a pet skip. Okay, pet skip. Cool. Let me just get up to 800. All right, 800 there. All right, let me just cancel my uh, skills. Oops, yeah, cancel these so that they're not active and I, and I don't end up doing a whole bunch of damage. So right now, if I hit this, my, my pet skill uh, attack doesn't go up, right? So, um, but if I go into my skills, go to skill tree, go to rogue, put some into here, put some into here, and until that becomes active, apply. And if I look at my thing, the pet's still doing abysmal damage, right? So let me just uh, 
this. Let me turn this back on so it starts up again. So right now it's at 75.06 and my current DPS is 1.6, 1.7 AM. Right. So if I spec into that particular talent or skill, whatever you want to call it, I'll put two points into here, close this out, and go out. You're going to see I'm going to do more damage. You can see the boss is actually being hurt now. It's dying. And my DPS has gone up. In fact, it's more than 10 times higher than it was prior. All right. So that's uh, so because the pet the the mod makes the pet attack constantly. Specking into that particular skill helps out a lot. All right. So just I don't know. Play whatever play style that you want to. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. You can figure that out on your own and what works best for you. Now I'm going to go and join a random clan. So into here, see if there's anything I can. Woo boy. Let's go into here. Screw it. All right. So now um, there is this uh, skill in Warlords. Let me just spec this a bit. Let me see if I can actually put it on 600, 1200. So I can't put 1200 on, not yet. But uh, so let me just put some into here so I can actually get it. So I play this. So there's this skill here where. Um, Every so often, a, a, basically, if I spec into it, I'll just spec some. It doesn't really matter. Apply. All right. So every so often, a, uh, a white silhouette of a clan mate will appear to the left of your character. Now, when you tap on it, normally what happens is uh, is uh, a, a clan mate will appear to your side and help you attack. By doing so, it also boosts all of your heroes that you have, your allies on your side. Uh, they're their damage out, uh, output and again if you have um, if you have this spec then um, then that's also going to add to your own power as well right now what's what's what happens normally is your 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 ally will only stay on screen for like a couple seconds not not, not a couple seconds but like 10 20 about 20 30 seconds and then they disappear and you have to wait for a cooldown for them to reappear again the mod makes it so that the ally never disappears so you always get that boost as soon as they're on screen you're always going to get the boost and so it's going to go on forever until you close out the game or whatever or your prestige then they're, then they're going to go away but as soon as they're on screen they're always there and you're always going to get that boost the other thing I can't show you yet because I'm not a, at a high enough level, but in Warlord, there's this other spec here where basically what it does is every time that your your clan ship, the thing in the corner, it fires their cannon and hits the boss, it stuns them for a certain amount of time. But during that time when they're stunned, you're able to do more damage, such as in this case, 3.5 times more damage than normal to that particular enemy that you're facing. So, um, so that's great right so during the one second stun the the, the pet is that is is attacking 25 times per second those 25 times are multiplied by 3.5 seconds now the mod makes it so that it's always active the enemy that you're facing is always in a state where this particular attribute is active as long as you have the skill spec into and I can't show you that unless I'm at stage 1200 so let me skip to that as well All right, so at stage 1200, actually I kind of like blew way over it. But anyway, so if I go into that attack now, not attack that skill, and I put it up, uh, I'll wait until I get to a point where I'm not able to attack it anymore. Or rather, I'll just cancel all of my skills if I have any that's active. That's all. That's partially helping my attack itself. So let me get to a point where I'm barely doing any damage. Alright, so I'm at that point where I'm barely doing any uh, any damage at all. Alright, so my damage right now is 37.28Z. Alright, so if I go and I spec into Warlord and I spec one point in, in here, right now I'm doing X amount. I'm doing 37, so three times this should be like 100, right? Uh, 100AZ should be my damage uh, hit. So let me just restart that. So if I go into here and I go to here and I go to here and I put one point into here, 
All right. Now I, sh I know I do 130 because, like I said, as long as that skill is specced in, that particular effect is always active. Now I'm doing three times the amount. All right. So, yeah. Normally what's supposed to happen is uh, this only activates whenever your clan um, cannon attacks the boss and stuns it just like that. That's the only time it's supposed to happen normally, but because of this particular mod, it does this. All right. And naturally, the more points you have into it, the more you're gonna do. So, yeah, do that. And now the boss dies with one shot because my damage is so much higher. All right. Now that's pretty much it for this mod. Depending on how you spec your skills and such, uh, will determine on how powerful you are. Now, just final notes: don't be stupid. All right. Don't go blasting to everybody that, hey, I'm using this hack and blah. If you don't want to get banned, if you don't care about that, do all the fuck you want. All right? It doesn't really matter to me what happens to you. I just would like you to not get banned, but it's it's totally up to you. Another thing to do is avoid like going crazy amount of stages in a tournament. All right? Such as if you join a low-level tournament and the second and third place are at stages like... 700 or 800 and you happen to be at 3000 you're gonna get reported you're gonna get caught all right the, the the automatic detection is not gonna catch you but the manual player report will so be aware of that all right um, if you join a clan and the, you are a brand new user such as me and you're already at stage 2000 that might be a dead giveaway if it's a clan if, if you're just a brand new player and you're you, you've just joined a clan and and uh, and you're with a bunch of other newbies if the other newbies are kind of like you know they they want to get you banned or they're like oh this person's doing something suspicious I want to report so I can feel better about myself if they have that low self-esteem sort of personality then they're gonna do that all right and then there's, there's other people that are going to say, well, cheaters have low self-esteem too. Really? Oh, no. That that could be a conversation for another day. I could go on and on about that, how I don't have low self-esteem. I do this because I do, right? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much that. Thanks for checking this out. Have fun with it. Adios. Bye-bye. And uh, no, I'm not going to show anybody how to get a bunch of skill points. All right? Don't ask me. I ain't doing that for free, period. All right, then. Adios. Peace out. Enjoy. Have fun. Don't get yourself banned.